is a common disease and I experienced many, many children died from malaria in my hand as a physician. We have money to buy a bed net. Um, we have money to buy mosquito sprays and yet my son had malaria. What about the little boy who lives in a village, probably has not got a bed net, and uh, will probably take about 24 hours before getting to the nearest health facility. What happens to such a child? We need to prevent the child from getting malaria in the first place. The best news uh, for malaria research and development is that uh, we are very close to getting malaria vaccine. So we are almost uh, three years before getting malaria uh, vaccine that is going to be available. Malaria vaccine can be accessible even in remote areas for many, for all children in Africa. So it's going to be the, the key tool because children can be prevented at least from the, the severe form of the disease. If we want to integrate a malaria vaccine into public health policy, we need to plan for it now. We need to know what the challenges are. We need to know where we are going to get the money from. We need to know how feasible it would be to integrate malaria uh, vaccine into policy. One of the problems that we've been facing at MVI is how to help scientists that are well connected in their field in Africa, to help them to convey a very important message of research to policy makers. That's something that is extremely important and extremely difficult to do. So if you wait until the, la the vaccine is on the market, it is going to take us maybe another five, ten years to prepare by which time more children would have died. And it would be very sad to realize that there's a vaccine available that could have saved those lives. You need to start just engaging the media, engaging policymakers, engaging um, other sponsors. The time is now, we have to start. that all the people who need to know get to know and we need to make sure that uh, new money is found to add to the complement of resources that we have. The Malaya Vaccine Fellowship Programs is all about creating champions for the vaccine and for the vaccine research and development. During the training, uh, fellows are interacting with policymakers, with journalists, with specialists in communication to learn a precise, concise, simple communication. My whole aim is to get the health of people improved. I don't think it's good enough to get some data, which may be good, and keep it on the shelf. I see my job as helping to bridge the gap between research and policy, so that whatever re research results we find should be able to help shape policy and practice. And help countries to make sure that as soon as the vaccine is available, countries will hit the ground running. Bridging the gap between researchers and media and policy makers, that is going to lead to superior vaccine that is going to save lives. 24 of those fellows have been trained already and they are now known and able to convey a crisp and neat message on research. I'm really grateful for the opportunity to be a fellow for this advocacy program and I think that what I've learned I would put it into practice and uh, get things moving and get things changing. We have so many tools, they should be made available to the people who really need it.